Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Lab to Learn IT. In our last video, we created the reverse lookup zone for um, our management network and also created hosted records for the four ESXi servers, vCenter server, and the PFSense firewall. We are now going to configure some basic firewall rules in the PFSense firewall that we will be replicating to other networks in future videos. So let's get started. So we need to log on to our uh, PFSense Firewall console. Uh, we created uh, a favorite uh, in our favorite toolbar. We click on next uh, on this, and then we give it the IP, uh, the username and the password. Click on sign in, and from here we need to go to the rules section. Once we go to the rules tab, we can see that we have uh, some rules for WAN and for uh, management network. So we do not need to worry about the WAN network, but we need to be we need to configure some firewall rules on our management network. As you can see right now, there are default rules which are allowing allowing everything uh, on our management network. So I'm going to delete this default rule for both uh, IPv4 and uh, for IPv6 as well and configure some basic rules uh, as per uh, you know as per the some recommendations uh, so that uh, you know we can control the traffic that goes in and out from this management network so let's get started so the first rule uh, i prefer to create is a is a, a reject rule that rule actually rejects any traffic that is not allowed through the firewall so let's click on the add now and click on select the reject from the uh, action item we make sure that we have the management network selected and the ip address family could be both ipv4 and ipv6 and the protocol can be anything because we are going to reject any traffic that uh, matches this rule uh, that that actually matches this rule. So let's uh, give it a uh, the source and destination as any, and let's give it a uh, description so that we know what this rule is for. So I'm giving it as reject any traffic not allowed outbound. So it, it makes clear that any traffic that is uh, not allowed to go out from this interface. So it will reject any traffic that is not allowed. Click on save now. Once we click on save, we can see that a reject rule has been placed over here. Now we need to create a, a you know a rule that allows us to ping uh, the other networks that we're going to create in future videos. So let's go ahead and create a rule for the ping management. So I'm going to create add again. And this time we are going to select action as pass, interface as management. And from the IP address family, we're going to select IPv4. From the protocol, we are going to select, select ICMP. And here we need to make some selection uh so let's select echo request parameter problem is the next one that we need to find parameter problem while selecting the multiple uh, icmp subtypes you need to make sure that you press control key to select uh, the multiple so we have made the selection on echo request and then uh, problem uh, parameter problems invalid error and then we need to make sure that we select uh, exceed timeout uh, timeout exceeded time exceeded press control and select and the destination unreachable so these are the four most common ICMP subtypes that uh, you know should uh, sh we should be able to do away with when it comes to icmp ping to check connectivity request so once we have done that 
we just making sure that we have all the four selected now we will uh, because this is a uh, rule for we does not do not want to block the icmp on any of the networks that we have internally since it is a lab environment so i'm going to select source as any and destinations and as any and give it a description icmp allowed outbound since this is the allowed rule click on save you need to make sure that the reject rule should be at the end of the firewall because when firewall evaluates any rule it checks from top to bottom so and because this block rule uh, the reject rule actually rejects any traffic we need to create our icmp rule on above the uh, reject all so that it does not reject the icmp if we just move it down to the reject rule by make you know moving it by selecting it like this then uh, because the rule reject any traffic is up in the priority uh, you will not be able to the icmp uh, rule will not be of any use at all you'll not be able to ping to any of the network or any machine on your network so we need to make sure that the reject uh, any traffic rule should be at the bottom of your of, uh, bottom in the list of the firewall rules so once you make the change make sure you click on save now we need to uh, you know uh, actually create some uh, aliases for our ports we just want to allow some basic ports such as uh, for the dns name resolution and say for the ntp server service which are required in our network so i'm going to create some aliases because if i go ahead and create a um, rules um, you know for each and every port common port that that's required the rule list is going to be long so what I'm going to do I'm going to create an aliases I'm going to create aliases for the port numbers so uh, let's go be select firewall and then go to aliases go to ports and click on add once we do that we add the name we give it a name so let me give it standard ports you need to make sure that there is no spaces otherwise the uh, pfsense firewall will not let you create these uh, this aliases so i'm creating a rule for port 53 which is for dns name resolution add another port for ntp server which is port 123 for NTP services we also going to uh, allow the uh, the the 445 port for SMB I think initial uh, as an initial configuration this should be enough uh, I don't want to allow internet as of now otherwise I could have added port 80 and 443 here as well so I'm just uh, mentioning this three port I, because I want the traffic on this port should not be blocked by our firewall. So let's click on save now and apply changes. Once we have done that, we can go back to our firewall and click on rules and create a rule on the management network so that uh, these ports are allowed from anywhere to anywhere. So let's click on add. click on make sure the action is pass interface is management address family is IPv4 and I'm going to select TCP and UDP both because I want this port to be uh, to be uh, enabled on any protocol whether it's TCP or UDP the source is going to be any and the destination is going to be any but the port range when we we need to select others and then provide the alias for the port that we have created so if you start typing the alias you it should get, prompt you to select that standard ports so once we select that we, now we can give it an appropriate name we uh, let's mention standard tcp udp ports outbound 
for LAN. Let's click on save. So we have created a rule that allows these port the name resolution from anywhere to anywhere uh, in our network in our management network. So if right now if I try to ping say uh, ping www.google.com you see that the name resolution is working and if I let me try to ping some other websites such as www.vmware.com we see the name resolution is working but if we try to browse the page for say www.google.com or bing.com or any other traffic that is uh, that you know that's coming on port 443 or 80 you can see that we will not be able to reach it because our firewall is blocking that and there is no rule that allows the port 80 or 443 to uh, traffic to enter our network so these are some basic ports that we will be replicating to the other network that we create in future lessons so let's uh, continue the rhythm and thank you so much for taking time and watching my videos if you think uh, I'm providing value so please uh, like share and subscribe to my videos and uh, we'll continue in the next lesson with the installation of uh, a6i servers thank you and have a great day bye bye